Today's lesson is called Avril Lavigne. The pop punk princess is back. Hello, everyone. My name is Jeff. I'm Roger. Today, of course, we're talking about music, and of course, if you want to hear music, somebody has to perform it for you. And today, we're talking about a musical performer by the name of Avril Lavigne. Avril, isn't that like the French version of the name April in English? Hmm, could be, could be one way or another. It is a beautiful name, Avril. It reminds me, yes, of the month April, but my French isn't too good, so I can't venture an opinion there. But one thing is for certain: Avril Lavigne is back. Okay, some of you probably thought, "Hey, what do you mean she's back? She never went away. She was never gone." Well. We are going to be reading a story about Avril Lavigne over the next couple of days, okay? And it's going to be clear by the end of this lesson that she is indeed back, okay? She is going to go through some stuff, but she is going to emerge from this stuff. She's going to go through ordeals and difficult situations and stuff like that, but she's going to come out on the other end of this better than ever. And at the end, yes, you will agree that Avril Lavigne is indeed back. All right, folks. With that, it's time for us to take a short break. But don't go away. We'll be right back after this. Avril Lavigne, the pop punk princess, is back. After a gap of about five years, pop punk singer Avril Lavigne is back with a new album. The career that took off when Lavigne was just a teen is not over yet. It seems the Canadian star was born to sing. According to her parents, Levine started displaying her incredible voice as young as two years old. Later, she began composing her own songs and performing at country fairs. In 1999, she won a radio contest to sing with one of her idols, Shania Twain. Levine was so confident that she told Twain she was going to be a famous singer. Compose. 这个字是动词，课文中有作曲、谱写乐曲之意。举例来说 ，For Helen's birthday, her boyfriend composed a song about her. Helen 的男友为了她的生日做了一首关于她的曲子。另外 ，compose 还可以指组成、构成，常常使用 A 加 B composed of 加 B 来表示 A 由 B 所组成。所以可以说。The picture is composed of thousands of tiny images arranged to look like a face. 这张照片是由数千微小影像组合排成，看起来像一张脸。Okay, everybody, let's first talk about the title here. We're describing Avril Lavigne as being a pop. Punk princess, and she has returned. She is back. So here we've got a term here, pop punk, which could be a combination of、uh, a popular singer, somebody who sings pop music, music that you hear on the radio, or you can see their videos posted online all the time. And we've also got punk here. Punk music is a little bit more hardcore, like the Clash, for example, or Crass. Some of those. Bands are described as punk bands, but in this case, it's kind of a combination of the two. Yes, it's kind of wild punk rock, but it's also popular for the masses. Yeah, and this is kind of a weird kind of juxtaposition here. Usually, you wouldn't put these two words together, but Avril Lavigne is a very interesting individual. She's able to pull this off. Yes, usually. Punk music was supposed to be like anti-pop music. It was supposed to be loud and aggressive and harsh. It wasn't supposed to be popular. Not everyone was supposed to like it. That's what popular music is all about. But yes, Avril Lavigne, she's just this talented. She can make this work. She can do the pop punk thing. She can pull it. Off. Anyways, let's go ahead and get started on our article. The first lines say, after a gap of about five years, pop punk singer Avril Lavigne is back with a new album. Yes, the career that took off when Lavigne was just a teen is not over yet. So, 
If you're a fan of Avril Lavigne, like me, okay, you never stopped listening to her songs, okay? So you might be thinking, she never went away. She's not back. Well, apparently she is back. For those of you who didn't know this, yes, she took about five years off. It says here, after a gap of about five years, she's back with a new album. So she didn't go away, but after five years, she's back in the sense that she is releasing a new album album. So yeah, her songs are still great. Those old songs, they're still hits. They're still classics. We still love them. But yes, like I said before, she is back in a sense that she is going to release this new album. So prepare yourselves for a whole new batch of Avril Lavigne songs. They'll be on the radio. You are going to be happy campers out there if you are Avril Lavigne fans because she is back. She's back in the saddle again, and she's got a new collection of songs. That's what an album is. Now, in the next paragraph here, it says, "It seems the Canadian star was born to sing." Canadian means having to do with Canada, that very large country in North America. It's north of the United States. Ottawa, of course, is the capital, and she, of course, is a Canadian star. And I guess she was born with this talent. She was born. To sing, she was born to be a rock star. It goes on here to say, according to her parents, Levine started displaying her incredible voice as young as two years old. So her parents could tell that she had the potential to be a great singer. Maybe she was just a little baby taking a bath, and she started singing, and they thought, "Wow, she's got a great singing voice." So yes, indeed, she started to show or let other people hear her incredible voice, her incredible, her unbelievable, her wonderful, her fantastic voice. There you go. She had an incredible voice. Okay, she does have an incredible voice. That much is true. That's a fact. Okay, everybody knows that. But apparently. This was evident to her parents when she was two years old. Now, when my daughter was two years old, she was doing a whole lot of screaming and crying, and not a whole lot of singing. Okay, she was not singing when she was two years old. Well, that's not true for Avril Lavigne. At two years of age, it was already clear that she had an incredible singing voice. Yes, her voice is incredible. It's super great. It's wonderful. Okay, her voice is incredible. It's great in a way that is hard to believe, or which you must see to believe, or you must hear to believe. You have to hear that voice to know just how good it is. Anyways, I've got an example sentence for the word incredible. You could say that the views from Ali Shan are incredible. They are just that beautiful, that wonderful, that great. Anyways, moving on. The next sentence says later she began composing her own songs and performing at country fairs. So she started singing at age two. Maybe there wasn't any form to her singing, but it was clear that she had a very good voice. But then later on, she began composing her own songs. So she wasn't Mozart composing songs at age. Age two or three or whatever, but yeah, later on, still as a youth, she did start composing her own songs. Now here, if you compose, you write songs. Yes, if you write songs, you compose those songs. That's what is going on here. Exactly. I could say, for example, Beethoven composed his Ninth Symphony when he was almost totally deaf. He could still do that, even though he couldn't hear. But in any case, here, yes, she began to put together her songs. She would write the words or the lyrics to the song and the music, and figure out the guitar chords and how the drums were supposed to go and stuff like that. So that's all part of composing music. And also, she could perform at country fairs. Which are these little activities that take place in、uh, primarily、uh, Western countries? I guess in Canada and the United States, of course, we have county fairs. My home county, Emmett County, had its county fair in the summer, but that's、uh, when farmers bring in their pigs and their cows, and you also have rides and maybe performances and stuff like that. I suppose that would be similar to a country fair, some kind of activity that has all those things, and it would feature, of course, live music. 
and Avril Lavigne was probably performing at many country fairs all across Canada. There you go. She started singing at age two. Okay, she demonstrated vocal ability at age two. Then later, she began composing her own songs and performing at country fairs. And then she had a big break in 1999. She won a radio contest to sing with one of her idols, Shania Twain. How about that? So yes, in 1999, this was her first big break. Why? Because she won a radio contest. Sounds like a pretty big deal. Anyways, let's talk about the word contest right now. A contest is not unlike a competition. A contest is an event in which competitors compete against one another to see who is best at doing something. Okay, so this was a radio contest, a competition over the. Radio or on the radio, and because she won this contest, she was able to sing with one of her idols, Shania Twain. By the way, your idol is a person or the person that you want to be like. So here, Avril Lavigne looked up to Shania Twain. She wanted to be Shania Twain, or she wanted to be like Shania Twain because Shania Twain was her idol. Indeed. So Shania Twain, of course, is a famous country singer, also from Canada, and Lavigne. Levine was so confident that she told Shania Twain that, "Hey, I'm going to be a famous singer just like you." Okay, let's move on now to the next part of our lesson. We will listen first. During high school, Levine took up skateboarding and shifted her focus from country to rock music. She soon left school for the bright lights of Los Angeles after landing a record deal at just 16. Her first album, "Let Go," was an instant success. And her song "Complicated" became a major hit. Second part, we see a phrase "take up" a verb or verb ing, meaning to start. Like Vivian took up surfing while she was living in Hawaii. Vivian lived in Hawaii while she was living in Hawaii. Vivian lived in Hawaii while she was living in Hawaii. Take up 可以指占据空间或耗费时间。举例来说 ，Betty's new couch takes up too much space in her apartment. Betty 的新沙发占据了她公寓太多的空间。接下来 ，take up 还可以用来指吸收、吸取。所以我们可以说 ，Farmers have to switch crops every few years because some plants take up too many nutrients from the soil. 农夫必须每隔几年更换作物。因为有些植物会吸收太多土壤的养分。接着，我们看到单字 skateboard 这个字为动词，指滑滑板或在滑板上表演特技。例如 ，Johnny skateboards to work every day. Johnny 每天滑滑板去上班。另外 ，skateboard 还可以当名词，指滑板。所以我们可以说 ，Mom was pretty mad at my brother for spending all his allowance on a new skateboard. 妈妈对于弟弟把零用钱全部花在滑板上感到很生气。再来，我们看到动词 shift 有转移、改变之意，像是 police shifted the focus of their murder investigation from the victim's husband to a former employee。警方把谋杀案调查的重点从受害者的丈夫转移到一位以前的员工身上。另外 ，shift 除了当动词使用，还可以当名词，有两个意思。第一个是转移或移动，所以可以说 There has been a shift in thought as to whether this type of food is healthy. 关于这类食物是否健康的观念有所改变。第二个是轮班。举例来说 ，Tom used to work a twelve-hour shift at a fast food restaurant. Tom 以前在一家素食餐厅上十二个小时的班。Okay, so Avril Lavigne started demonstrating vocal ability at age two. Then she started composing her own songs and performing in public. Then in 1999, she won a radio contest and she got to sing with Shania Twain. And at that point, she was still young, but boy, was she confident! She was so confident that she told Twain that she was going to be famous. How about that? What an interesting young lady. Anyways, though, let's get back to the story of her life. During high school, Levine Avril Levine took up skateboarding and shifted her focus from country to rock 
music. So before, she was performing in those country fairs. She was performing country music at those fairs. But then in high school, she took up skateboarding. Okay, and this changed things for her. And she started to move towards rock music. Okay, she did less country and she sang more rock. Anyways, let's talk about what it means to take up something. If you take up something or take something up, you begin to do that thing. You kind of start doing a hobby or you start engaging in an activity. Indeed. So she started doing skateboarding.、Uh, of course, that's a board with wheels on it. Skateboarding is quite popular here in Taiwan. And she shifted or changed her focus from country to rock music. And she soon left school for the bright lights of L.A., Los Angeles, after landing a record deal at the age of 16, at just 16. So, of course, if you go to L.A. to be a star, it has lots of bright lights there. And if you land a record deal, that means you get one. You You're noticed by somebody that you sign the contract, and you're going to make a record, and you're basically going to be famous. Now, her first album, "Let Go," was an instant success. It was a top seller, and her song "Complicated" became a major hit. Yes, I think I'm familiar with that song. That is one of her many hits. There you go, and she did this all at the tender age of 16. I don't remember what I was doing at age 16. I think I was trying to get my driver's license, but there was Avril Lavigne releasing records and hot singles, and she was doing all of this at just the age of 16. How about that? All right, folks. With that, it is time for us to take a break, but don't go away. When we come back, we'll wrap up part one of our article on Avril Lavigne. For Levine, it was important to be herself, and she refused to change for the music industry. Fans found Levine's down-to-earth personality and tomboy style a refreshing change from the girly pop stars that came before her. She became a style icon for her punk clothing and colorful hair, even launching her own clothing line. The third part, we see a word called tomboy, which refers to a boy dressing up as a girl or a boy. 例如 ，Katie's friends don't mind if she likes to act as a tomboy. Katie 的朋友们不在乎她想要做一个行为举止像男生的女生。最后，我们看到单字 girly 这个字为形容词，指适合少女的。这个字也可以拼作 girly, g i r l i e， 像是 Stacy felt girly in her new cheerleader outfit. Stacy 觉得穿着啦啦队服实在是太少女了。Let's continue to talk about Avril Lavigne's career here. For Lavigne, Avril Lavigne, it was important to be herself, and she refused to change for the music industry. So, of course, record companies want the singers or the bands to play stuff that they think is going to sell. Of course, these are companies; they want to make a profit. So they were telling her, "Well, you better not do that so much, and maybe you should make songs more like this, and then everybody can be really happy." But she said, "Nope, I'm not going to change for you. I need to be true to myself."、Mm, there you go, for Levine. It was important to be herself, so she didn't change. And yes, fans found Levine's down-to-earth personality and tomboy style a refreshing change from the girly pop stars that came before her. So yes, the music industry said, "Change." Levine said, "No, I'm not going to change." And apparently, this all worked out. Fans loved Levine for not changing. They loved the fact that she stayed true to herself. And for this reason, they called her a refreshing change, or at least that's how she's being referred to in this sentence. By the way, here we have the word "refreshing." Here we're not talking about a Coca-Cola, although. Coca-Cola is a refreshing soft drink. Here, a refreshing change is a good change. Okay, it's a change that is good because it's new and novel. People were tired of something that was going on before, and hey, this thing came along. Oh, and it's new. It changes things. How refreshing! But like I said before, you can't have a drink like a Coca-Cola that is refreshing as well. In that sense, something that is refreshing kind of brings you back to life before you. 
kind of felt tired and fatigued. But hey, now you feel alive again. You feel refreshed because you drink that refreshing drink. Let's say. Let's say we travel to the mountains, Ali Shan. The air there can be very refreshing. It feels like you're born again. And you're living a new life, but here, of course,、uh, her fans loved her new style. It was refreshing. It was a refreshing change from those girly pop stars who were just pretty girls who had nice voices, but they weren't particularly interesting.、Uh, these girly pop stars were popular before her, and she became a style icon for her punk clothing and colorful hair, even launching her own clothing line. So she became an icon, which is something that represents. Something you've got icons on the screen of your smartphone there, but here an icon it represents somebody in the fashion world, and I think I remember her having stringy blonde hair, and she wore quite a bit of、uh, eyeshadow or something like that. That was kind of her style. That's kind of a punk style, and she also had colorful hair. Maybe she dyed it purple or pink or something like that, and she even had her own clothing line. All right, folks, with that. It's time for us to end today's lesson, but don't worry. The Chinese teacher is on her way. <音楽>各位同学，大家好，我是 Hanny。我们来看今天文法重点。课文第一部分有一个句子是 ：According to her parents, Levine started displaying her incredible voice as young as two years old. 根据他爸妈的说法，艾薇尔在两岁的时候就开始展现惊人的歌喉了。好，这边有一个单字叫 incredible， 我们来学习它的字根。好 ，c r e d 这个字根呢，它是指信任或是相信，像 credit。Credit card 那个 credit 这个名词呢，它有信誉啊、信用的意思，所以应该不难看出 C R E D 这个字根有信任、相信的意思嘛。好，那么字尾 I B L E 就跟 A B L E 一样，都可以用来表达可怎么样的、能怎么样的，合在一起。Credible 就表示可靠的、可信的或是真实的。那我们接着在 credible 前面加上否定字首 i n， 变成 incredible， 那就变成难以置信的或是不可思议的。好，那 incredible 它也可以用来表达非常棒的、啊、非常好的。我们接着再顺便补充一组也有相同字根的单字 ：credulous， 还有 incredulous。好，刚刚说到 c r e d， 它有信任、相信的意思嘛？那我们后面加上 u。L O U S， 这个是形容词字尾，它表示倾向于怎么样，习惯于怎么样。好，如果你一直都是倾向于相信，总是习惯相信别人，那么你可能就比较容易被骗嘛。所以 credulous 这个字就表示轻易相信的，或是容易受骗的。我们接着在 credulous 前面加上否定字首 i n， 变成 incredulous， 那就表示不轻信的，不会轻易相信的，怀疑的，疑心重的。好，接着读到课文第三部分的第二句。他说 ，Fans found Levine's down-to-earth personality and tomboy style a refreshing change from the girly pop stars that came before her. 歌迷们发现艾薇尔这种平易近人的个性，还有像男孩子一般的作风，跟先前的少女明星们有着令人耳目一新的不同。好，句子里面这个 down to earth， 它是用来形容平易近人的啊，不做作的，也可以指务实的、讲求实际的。好，那么 Tom Boy。汤姆男孩，好，他的意思是指行为举止像男生的女生。好，至于 girly g i r l y 这个字也可以拼成 g i r l i e， 那这是指适合少女的，像 girly dresses 就表示少女风的洋装。不会用这个字要特别注意哦。当你看到 girly magazines。不是指少女杂志哦，而是指成人杂志。好，另外要帮同学们补充一个句型，叫做 find 加受词加受词补语，它表示发现什么什么处于某种状态。那么动词 find 在这边它有发现、发觉或是看到的语义。
，它的受词啊可以是名词、名词片语或者是虚主词。然后后面接的受词补语，你可以用名词、名词片语或者是形容词、现在分词、过去分词等等的。像课文里面它的受词叫做 Levine's down to earth personality and tomboy style。然后后面它的受词补语也很长，叫做 A refreshing change。From the girly pop stars that came before her. 好，那我们来造个句子。They found the door unlocked. 他们发现门没锁。那么句子里面的受词补语是用过去分词 unlocked 来说明它前面的受词 the door 来表达说这个门是没有锁的状态。好，以上是今天重点整理。我们回顾今天的单词吧。Incredible. Lila's teachers are certain she has an incredible career ahead of her. Compose. Mozart composed his first piece of music when he was only five years old. Contest. Even though tears were running down her face, Rita refused to blink because she would lose the staring contest. Idol. When Abe was growing up, he wanted to become a basketball player, just like his idol Stephen Curry. Shift. A good leader doesn't shift the blame for mistakes onto others. Refreshing. The show takes a refreshing approach to presenting the news, keeping viewers informed and entertained at the same time. Okay, everyone. With that, today's article is now complete. But as always, we sure hope that you guys have enjoyed reading along with us. Anyways, I'm Jeff. I am Roger. See you, See you next, next time. time.